you have Palestinians, you understand, crying every single day, having dropped bombs on their heads because the wicked is in rulership. We got to get. They want to do is move it closer to. But when the wicked man rule, give me a second. The people mourn. The Native American Indians have to protest to, to understand to look for bodies in a landfill because the wicked is in rulership. They right. have to put. They have to beg for clean. You understand? We're only we're not supposed to fall to the Christian church, which tells us to join hand in hand with everybody. We're not supposed to listen to Martin Luther King telling us black boys will hand hold hands with little black girls and little white boys gonna hold hands with little black girls. Now nah, we're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to be a separate people, just like our God is separate. We would keep reading. And have severed you from other people. He did what? Severed you from other people. He gathered us with other people. Severed you from other people. He joined us with other people. Severed you from other people. The Christian church will tell you the Bible is for everybody. Severed you from other people. The most I said we're supposed to be separate and he severed us. What does it mean to be severed? When you go, well, listen, if anybody have been into an accident or witnessed an accident, a bad car crash, whatever the case is, we have to, to, to amputate a limb. That's what it means to be severed. It means to be cut off, to be amputated. The Most High cut us off, separated us from every single nation. So why are we joining hand in hand with the Caucasian, the devil the Bible speaks of? Why is the oppressed joining the oppressor? How does that even make sense for you? You understand? How can the oppressed join its oppressor? How can the oppressed join Trust his oppressor and seek help from the oppressor. Make him make sense. The Most High said, "Be separate, because he severed us. He cut us off from the other nations." Keep reading. That ye should be mine. Not only that, the reason why he separated us, because the Most High is not the God of everybody. He's the God of the children of Israel only. And he said that we're supposed to be his people, just like he's our God. You understand? Not anything else, right? You have, you're gonna get to um. Yes, Dad. But we're gonna show you. Right now. Um, wicked ruling. We're gonna sh we're gonna show you right now what another reason why we're supposed to be separate. Now that we told that we're supposed to be separated, we're gonna show you why you're supposed to be separated. You understand? It's not it's not just because you know we don't want to be with everybody. That has nothing to do because not only the Most High ordained us to be separated. All right. We're supposed to be separated, but we're going to show you why. You understand? You're going to understand why you're supposed to be separated. But first of all, make it make sense. Anyone, if anyone can answer me, how can the oppressed join its oppressor? Anyone to try to answer that? How can the oppressed join its oppressor? You understand? Let's see if y'all know anything. Let's see if you have any knowledge or even any common sense. Right? Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2. Now let's show you why, and a, a reason why we're supposed to be separated. Not only that, but we're going to show you why the earth, the whole planet is in turmoil right now. Why there's wars left and right. You understand? Why people are separating each other. As a matter of fact, everybody's separating each other. And we're going to bring that down as well. But let's see what we got right now. Read. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2. There's the book of Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2. If you want to follow with us. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. This is speaking about the 12 tribes of Israel. When we will be ruling the earth, the people will rejoice. There's not going to be any police brutality. There's not going to be uh, neighborhoods flooded with drugs. There's not going to be prostitution left and right. You're not going to see all those dope things left and right that you see in downtown Toronto. You're not going to see that right behind you. You're never going to see that ever again when we pull the things in here. Right? Keep reading. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. The reason why you have Palestinians, you understand, crying every single day, having dropped bombs on their heads, because the wicked is in rulership. We got to get. they want to do is move it closer to me. But when the wicked bear rule, give me a second. the people mourn. The Native American Indians have to protest to, to understand to look for bodies in a landfill because the wicked is in rulership. Right. They have to put they have to beg for clean drinking water. Listen, our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, when he was first campaigning, he said when I get elected, I'll provide clean drinking water to the Native Indian uh, reservation. It's 2023. 
and not one drop of clean water have been brought to the native Indian reservation. Right. They have more water to clean, the, to, to clean the filthy streets of downtown Toronto. They'd rather clean the streets of downtown Toronto than provide any drinking water for the native Indians. Why? Because the wicked is in rulership. You understand? Why do you think little Jamaica is being gentrified right now? And we, can do, and we cannot do anything about it. Because the wicked is in rulership. And who is the wicked? Who is the ruler of the face of the earth? Who is the most powerful kingdom right now? You can see it, you don't, I don't even have to tell you this. It's the European nations, the Americans, the Canadians, the British, the Australians, the French. You understand? These are the people who are ruling the face of the earth. And we're gonna see that their empire is crumbling down. And that's another reason why you have to separate from them. Because do you wanna be part of an empire that's crumbling down? Or do you want to be? Or, or do you want to be standing right next to us when Christ comes back? When we will be in rulership? You understand? And we'll and we'll see what's gonna happen, right? Get um, Second Ezra chapter fifteen verse eight. We're gonna show you that everything that's going on around the face of the earth right now, whether it's the plague, whether it's COVID, whether it's the forest fires, whether it's the World War III, the terrorist attack, understand? All of these civil wars that are about to happen are biblical. This is all prophesied in the Bible. So y'all better, when I say y'all better repent, I mean y'all better change your lives. Y'all better come in this one body. Y'all better stop being drug dealers. Y'all better stop being drug addicts. Y'all better stop being whores. Y'all better stop being sodomites. You understand? Y'all better change your lifestyle. Y'all better stop aborting your babies. You understand? Y'all better stop talking. Y'all y'all better stop going after one another. Y'all better stop love. Y'all better start loving each other like we were ordained in the first place. You understand? When we give you a flyer, take that flyer. You understand? Call the number. Come and pass. We'll teach you how to get right. We'll get you off of drugs. We'll get you off the stripper pole. We'll get you out of the prison cell. And we'll make sure that you don't ever go back in the prison cell. We'll provide you food, clothing, shelter, everything you need. Stop relying on your oppressor. Rely on your brothers and sisters. You understand? Right. Rely on the, the ISPK. Right. Because outside the ISPK, there is nothing but death. Prove me wrong. What is the Roman Catholic Church doing? You know what? Let me show you that the wicked, the wicked, the wicked that is in rulership is the most evil bat on the face of the earth. Right. You know what the Roman Catholic Church said? They said they don't have enough money to give to the Native American Indians. Not even to provide clean water. Well, meanwhile, Justin Trudeau, like all the Caucasian empire, they're sending billions and billions and billions of dollars to Ukraine. Good. A native is still, but you can see a native right now being on the corners of Dunn Square, but even for change, then they think, what, just pocket change to get some food, nobody's gonna give him any change. Not one Caucasian who's benefiting from the slaughter of their forefathers are gonna provide any Native American Indians, Latinos, or Negroes any type of, of aid, any type of compassion. While well, y'all prof profited from the genocide that was committed against our people. Right. That just shows you that you're the most evil race that are upon the face of the earth. You can't prove me wrong. Prove me that you're not wicked. Prove me that you did, you, you did show compassion once to the native, to the, to the Negro, the Latino. You understand? Y'all keep complaining about immigration. Y'all don't complain about all the Asian and the Southeast Asian immigrating over here illegally. Y'all ain't complaining about the Jamaicans, the Haitians, the, and the Latinos. I thought we were all equal. Why not complain about the other nations? Right? If you want to deport every Ill illegal immigrants, why don't deport the Chinese? Why not deport the East Asian as well? Why not deport the Arabs? Right? Why don't you deport yourself? Because you came here illegally. I don't, I, I, I don't remember Christopher Columbus coming here with no green card, with no papers, with no passport right. when he came into Canada and America. I don't remember the Portuguese coming here with any papers, we requesting we asylum. Matter, you understand? I don't remember any Irish. I don't remember any red hair bastard coming over here right. with yeah. any papers. You understand? Y'all just have got, y'all just exactly like COVID. Y'all just like COVID, y'all like AIDS, y'all like, uh, what's it called, bubonic plague. Y'all are just a virus on the face of the earth. Right. Wherever you go, you commit genocide. Right. You mass pillage, right. you mass murder, you mass rape every single nation on the face of the earth. And that's why you're the, the, the most wicked, evil bastard is on the face of the earth. Get what you got when you have it. Second nation, chapter 15, verse two. And we're gonna show you, first of all, let's start with friends. If y'all are not up to date, you've seen that France right now is burning down. And it's just a start. 
America, it's, it's gonna happen in Canada, it's gonna happen in, in, in the UK, it's gonna happen in Spain, it's gonna happen in the US. Listen, France is burning down. And don't think it's because they are alive. Don't think because it's a, it's a young Arab kid that was uh, 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 lost his life by the police. That, that's, that, that's nothing. That was just the spark of the match. You understand? Then we're gonna show you why France is burning down. Read what you got. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 8. I will hold my tongue no more. I will hold my tongue no more. The Most High, he's going to expose the wicked, bastard, evil nations that you're from. You understand? The Most High is going to expose every single wicked action that you commit, that you committed. You're going to see. Listen, it, 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 you're, you've been exposed, but it, now it's going to be worldwide. The news, what happened in the UK, we're gonna see it in Canada, we're gonna see it in the US, we're gonna see it in Latino America también, you understand? We're gonna see it in the UK, we're gonna see it in Australia, in Spain, Portugal, you're gonna be exposed. The Mosa is not gonna keep his mouth shut anymore. Right. You understand? He's not gonna hold his tongue no more. Read. I will hold my tongue no more. Read. As touching their wickedness. You understand? You're gonna be exposed for all the evil things that you do on the face of the earth. France is being exposed for being one of the most oppressive nations on the face of the earth. Don't think they're burning down France and committing riots left and right because they're unalive a little era, kid. Nah, was, like I said, that was just a spark, you understand? But with all these nations that France is oppressing, they, they, they got a reason to, 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 to express their anger towards that oppressive nation. You understand? They got a reason to rebel. Why? Because France has been oppressing the Africans as well. Not that we give a damn about them. You understand? 